What is equilibrium? When we say that a reaction is in equilibrium, we mean that it is creating both reactants and products at the same rate. This means that the concentration of both never increases or decreases. However, equilibrium is impermanent. Any change to a reaction or its environment can throw off the equilibrium, meaning it could create too much product or reactant to stay in equilibrium. Things that could affect it include things like a pressure change, a temperature change, or a change in concentration of products or with reactants. Enter Le Chatelier's principle. It tells us what a reaction will do to re-establish equilibrium if it has lost it. Simply put, Le Chat's principle tells us that if something happens to a reaction to throw off the equilibrium, the reaction will shift towards the products or reactants to re-establish equilibrium. If the reactant is added to a system, the reaction will shift to the right as more product is created. Conversely, if more product is added to the system, the reaction will shift to the left as it creates more reactant. An increase in temperature will make an endothermic reaction shift to the right, while it would make an exothermic reaction shift left. And as we will see in this video, decreasing the pressure of a system will cause a reaction to shift to the left as well. When the Sprite bottle is open, the pressure inside the bottle rapidly decreases, creating little air bubbles. The same process occurs when we take a Coke bottle and pour it out into a glass. But I'm sure you're wondering, what is this process? This is the chemical equation for the reaction occurring in soda. At equilibrium, Carbon dioxide reacts with water to form carbonic acid, while carbonic acid dissolves back into water and carbon dioxide. When we open the soda bottle, the carbon dioxide in the air part of the bottle escapes, and the pressure drops. As a result, the reaction shifts to the left. Carbonic acid dissolves back into water and carbon dioxide, and the carbon dioxide escapes as it bubbles with seed. The same shift in equilibrium occurs when the Coke bottle is poured into the glass. The pressure inside the glass is much less than that of the bottle, so the reaction shifts left to produce the carbon dioxide that we see here. 